Hi, it's Lauren here. So today I want to show you a few stretches that you can do for your neck and your shoulders and your back while you're sitting in a chair. So I know lots of us are spending a lot more time in front of computers than we were before. And what this is doing is it's leading to a lot of tension in the neck and shoulders and back. So these are going to be some stretches or movements that you can do. You can even do them while you're in a meeting without even having to leave your chair. Okay, so to begin, if you are sitting in a chair, sit forward slightly so that your feet are touching the floor. And you can always support your feet with some blocks or some books if they don't quite reach. You can do these movements sitting on the floor as well if you'd like to, or maybe even standing up. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to stay sitting in the chair. So to begin with, take a moment to connect with your breathing. So feeling the soles of your feet, making contact with the floor, creating some length in your spine. Noticing each inhalation and exhalation. So to begin with, we're going to start with some movements of the head and neck. So inhale, lifting your head, and then exhale, lowering your chin. Inhale, lifting your head, exhale, lowering your chin and you can make these movements as big or as small as you like that's completely your choice try and stay connected with your breath we'll do one more and then when you're ready coming back to the center and another option for movement is side tilts of your head. So again, keeping connected with your breath as you tilt your head towards one shoulder and then towards the other shoulder. And possibly as you're making this movement, you may notice a sensation of stretch through the side of your neck. So we'll just do it one more time. And then coming back to the center and the next option for movement of the head and neck, half circles. So half circles through your head and neck. Staying with your breath as you make this movement. Breathing through your nose if you can. And then we'll just do two more. And when you're ready, coming back to the center. Okay, so the next movement that we're going to do is shoulder rolls. So there's two ways that you can do this. You could make this movement by keeping your hands resting on the tops of your legs or maybe by your sides. Or you could bring your fingertips to your elbows and make the movement as elbow circles. So perhaps having a go at each variation, maybe hands on your elbows, maybe hands by your sides, and just seeing which movement works best for you. So as always thinking about your breath as you make this movement, and you might inhale for half the movement, as your shoulders come up and then exhale. So shoulder or elbow circles. 
and then from here when you're ready, reversing, making the movement in the opposite direction. Staying with your breath. One more. And then when you're ready, bring your arms by your sides, having a little bit of a shake. Okay, so from here, we're gonna have a go at kind of a seated variation of cat and cow. Okay, so it's a movement through our spine. So we're gonna inhale, and as we inhale, lengthen the, your spine, stick out your chest, and maybe take your head back if that's comfortable for your neck. And then as you exhale, pull in your low belly and round your spine into a C shape. So as you inhale, start from the base of your spine, lifting your chest, taking your head back if that feels comfortable for you. And then exhale, rounding your back. So inhale, lifting your chest, shoulders back, exhale, rounding your back, curving into a C shape. One more, inhale, start from the base of your spine. Exhale, round your back, pulling in your low belly. And then when you're ready, coming back to the center. Okay, so from here, we're gonna have a go at a side stretch. So you might rest your hand on your knee, perhaps if you're sitting on the floor, you might reach your hand out to the side, or you could hold onto your chair. So we're gonna start by leaning over to the right. So as you inhale, sit up nice and tall, and then as you exhale, reach your arm over. And if you want to, you could look up, towards your fingertips and maybe you feel like you need to bring your legs a bit wider to feel a bit more stable. Again, deep breaths, breathing through your nose if you can. And think about grounding into your left hip as your left arm stretches over. Two more breaths. And then when you're ready, come back to the center. Okay, and then we'll have a go at that on the other side. So you could have your hand out to the side if you're on the floor, maybe holding onto your chair. So as you inhale, stretch your right arm up. And as you exhale, reach over to the side. Deep breaths through your side body. And if you want to, you could look up towards your fingertips. One more breath and then when you're ready come back to the center have a little bit of a shake okay so the final movement that we're going to do is a twist so reaching your left hand to your right knee from there sit up tall gently lift your low belly and then move into a twist so if you're on the floor, again, your hand might be behind you or you could hold onto your chair. Take a moment to ground into the soles of your feet as you lift your chest on your inhale. As you exhale, look over your shoulder. Then when you're ready, on your inhale, coming back to center and exhale. Lifting your chest. One more breath. And then inhale, come back to the center. Have a little bit of a shake if you'd like to. And we'll just finish by taking a few moments of quiet. So you might close your eyes 
or maybe look down towards the floor. Perhaps noticing the soles of your feet or becoming aware of the tops of your feet if you're sitting or maybe where your hands are resting. Perhaps in your lap maybe on the tops of your legs. Taking a moment here to connect with your breath. Observing each inhale and each exhale. And then when you're ready, in your own time, coming back together. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you have found it useful, then let me know in the comments and make sure that you're signed up to my mailing list so that you can receive more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.